Hello, my name is William R. Palacio. I'm a freelance illustrator and children's book artist and today I'm going to show you how to get your sketches ready to be digitally painted. Uh, what I got here is I got open in Photoshop CS6 uh, a sketch I did of a, of a drawing I'm doing for my blog and uh, as you can see here everything is on one layer, background layer and it is locked. First thing we want to do is go ahead and get that layer unlocked. So what we do is double click that layer and you get a dialog box that comes up and then you just hit OK. What that does is it go, goes ahead and makes that layer a regular layer that can be edited and not a locked background layer. Next thing we want to do is click this little piece of paper at the bottom here and that creates a new layer. Then what we want to do is go ahead and click on the bottom layer, layer 0 that we just made. Hit control A which selects everything on the layer. Control C which copies everything on the layer. And then control D which deselects everything on that layer. Then we want to go from our layers palette over to our channels palette. Click on that. You can see it's RGB, you have red, green, and blue. What we're going to do is go ahead and click on that little paper again at the bottom. We're going to make a new alpha channel. Everything turns black, but don't worry. Your image is still there. We're just seeing that alpha channel, which is blank right now. Now, what you want to do is hit Control v which pastes everything that you just copied onto that alpha channel. Then hit Control d to deselect. Go back up. Click on RGB. Go back to your layers palette click on layer 0 and click the trash can icon at the bottom which goes ahead and gets rid of that layer. Now what you want to do is make sure your color is on white. You want to go to edit, fill layer, make sure it says fill layer with foreground color and hit OK. Then you want to go back to your layers palette, click on the little piece of paper again and make a new layer. Now go to your channels palette again and control or option click on that alpha channel and it makes a selection of everything you pasted on that alpha channel. Now go back to your layers palette. Now the selection that's selected is the outside of the line work that you just did so you want to click control shift I that's control shift I or option shift I to select the inverse of that selection and what now you got is where you had your line before now you have a selection go over to your colors here and make sure that your color is 100 percent black and click OK then again you go to edit fill make sure it says foreground color click OK then hit control D to deselect now what you have here is remember how when you first open your line drawing that you scanned in it was all on one layer black and white pixels well now what you have is you still have black and white pixels but what you have is the bottom layer is the white layer and if you hide that you can see that your line work and just your line work, no white pixels at all, is selected up here on layer 2. And what that's good for is later on in tutorials, um, you'll be able to select just that layer, hit lock transparency, and color those lines without touching any colors underneath. And that comes in very useful in digital painting. And so that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll start uh, getting into more uh, digital painting these cartoons. Um, you have a nice day. Again, this is William R. Palacio, freelance illustrator. You can see my work at www.palacio, that's P-A-L-A-C-I-O, illustration.com.